Good morning, guys. Look at little bitchy sleeping on my bed. <laughs> okay, good morning from me. Not Stitch anymore. I am currently getting ready for the day, so we are going to be vlogging. Um, we have a lot of stuff to get done, apparently. Last night, my mom comes into my room and says, I'm waking you up early. We have a lot to get done, and we also have a tour of a house today, so... And it's like the house, if that makes sense. It's like... I've seen pictures and it's like the house as in like it has everything that we need on land on the water um enough bedrooms there's a loft I think I, I saw some pictures it's not obviously like the prettiest like modern like you know like fancy house um but it has everything that we need so like I said, the one. We'll see. I don't really know what time that is at, um, but as of right now, I'm currently getting ready, and I just washed my face. I feel like I don't really do any, like, personalized stuff in the vlogs of me ever getting ready. I feel like that's always on my channel. Um, so yeah, this is what I used to wash my face in the mornings from Drunk Elephant, if it focuses. But I use Pranoxyl, if that's how you say it. Oh my gosh, I honestly don't know how to say it. Pranoxyl. It's like that bottle from Dermatologist from Target. You might have seen it on TikTok. I use that in the shower every time that I shower. But in the mornings when I wash my face, I use this. And I just put the Ordinary Serum on that one. Because there's different ones. And then... I use this F balm like face cream after. It just stopped recording on me, but I just put this on. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically my skincare routine. Um, the only thing that changes if if I'm taking a shower, I use the Panoxyl thing, uh, face wash. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's nothing like spectacular. Uh, I mean, all I'm gonna say is that, like, what I do, obviously, I have, honestly, really good skin for what I used to have, knock on wood, seriously. Um, so, the one thing that definitely has helped me since we're gonna talk skincare is the Pranoxyl, if that's how you say it. I could be totally saying it wrong, but let me just show you. <laughs> Oh wait, it's not Pernoxyl, it's Panoxyl. My bad, that's what that is. I thought there was an R, but this is what I use in the shower. Use this, literally use this. Like, this is what has saved my life. So yeah, it's at Target. You can get it at Target for like, well, I'm gonna have to say it's, it's more than 10 bucks, but I don't know if it's more than 20. It's like in that range. I don't really know how much this costs but get this this is a lifesaver i don't get much sleep so i put this on this is um like an eye cream long life herb eye treatment from bare minerals so yeah that is my skincare routine uh, i need to brush my teeth and then i'm gonna clean up my room after and then get ready so this is like a morning routine but vlog style Look how comfy Mr. Stitchy looks. He looks so tired. But every time that he comes in my room, that's where he lays. He literally lays in this exact spot every time. Hi, Stitchy. Oh. Is my bed comfy? Is that why you come in here? <laughs> Hello. We are on our way to see this house and a little bit of info on the house. Um, don't be prepared, don't be prepared to be wowed on this home. This home is very much 60s style. <laughs> 70s? No, I don't think it 80s? Really is. Some of the, the bathrooms or the cabinets remind me of hotels. Two -toned. I mean, it's just old. Okay, that's what we're gonna say. But it checks every single box that we are looking for. Scrub footage, 
bedrooms, so it's four bedrooms with an office. One of the bedrooms has its own apartment, it has its own access from an outside door, you don't even have to come into the other house. Hi Felicia. <laughs> uh, it has so, and then there it has a living room, kitchen, and a bedroom. And it's on its own utilities as well. Uh, so, and then it has beautiful water on the in the back. And then you go across the street and you own that as well. So you own almost an acre, but you literally walk across the street. It's a dead end street. You walk across the street and it's your garage slash boathouse. Okay? On a canal. So you have water in the front and you have access to water in the back of your house. And there is enough room on the boathouse section to put a tiny home, a boxable home, uh, a, you know, if you wanted to build a regular one bedroom home over there, uh, there's enough room. I mean, it wouldn't be huge. It would be like a, you know, 900 square foot place or whatever like a studio but it literally checks every single box and again I think most of you know but after Ellie graduates and moves away Mark and I plan to travel uh, so it'd be kind of cool to have this property where we could leave and travel in our RV, whatever, visit, stay with the kids, visit our parents, you know, whatever, and then come home whenever we wanted, and when we're not here, rent that property as an Airbnb. So it's kind of like a phalange hanging off in the water. So you're attached to solid land, but it like peninsulas off, to where you have water in the front and the back. Um, so it'd be a great Airbnb. And if you think about it, you could lock the interior door to the apartment, close it off, whatever, and technically have three Airbnbs being rented while you're gone. So you can actually use it as an income property that would make you money to monthly to pay for your travels. Um, so you would have like a one bedroom Airbnb, a three bedroom Airbnb, and another one bedroom Airbnb. I think it'd be kind of cool. And you know, waterfront houses here on Airbnbs rent for about low I've ever seen is 500 a night in the highest seven about 738 so you know if you think about it you could rent one let's say for the low five a night one for three a night one for three a night and yeah that's eleven hundred dollars twelve Eleven hundred dollars a night. I don't know. So it has so much, so much potential. It is a little higher price point than the other home, but again, you're gaining so much. The house that we do like um, doesn't check all the boxes. Obviously, uh, this house does. Both of them need redoed, redoed, <laughs> redone kitchens, painting, flooring. Um, you know, the other house actually needs a little bit more, like the laundry room needs redone in both. The other one needs a little bit more because we have to convert rooms into other rooms to make the house work for us. But, you know, they both need the same thing. The bathrooms need redone, the kitchen needs redone, the floors, the painting. The only difference, the benefit, is the amount of water 
and the difference of the water. So the water behind this house is blue. The water behind the other is a canal, which is, canals are always brown. Uh, so that's a big difference as well. And then the other uh, difference is the house we're going to see already has a dock. The other one has a dock, but it needs replaced. It already has a dock and it already has a 20,000 pound boat lift. So quite honestly, this house has way more than what the other house has with the same amount of redoing. Um, and Mark was saying earlier, yeah, but it's just so old. And I said, well, it does, it's not any cheaper to redo something that's older or newer. It's the same price to redo it, whether it's ugly or not as ugly. Uh, we will film at the house. I'm excited. Uh, I'm hoping that it's everything I expect it to be. But you never know, so. Instagram, the main <laughs> thing. <laughs> so we'll see you at the house in a second. I miss you, miss you. Is this the Take you off. Is I came me way to strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged. Your pheromones hit the roof. Auto, your taste. Oh, this is a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in close to me? I've lost you. Found myself in between the lines underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum game that I will lose. There's no sipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? I'm a granny for you, so shameless can't get enough. I've lost you, but I need you, and you're off my radar now. I've lost you, telling you that I need you, but you're off my radar now. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you.
right, guys, we are home. We've been home, actually. Um, I edited our today's video, got that up. I got another migraine, sadly, which I'm really tired of getting these migraines. But I have a UTI, and I think it's the antibiotics because I finished one antibiotic and it didn't work. So they, she had to call in another antibiotic. And I think it's this new antibiotic giving me migraines. Which is really freaking annoying. Um, so anyways, Ellie had softball practice today. They went. It started storming. It's actually raining sideways. So, practice got canceled. They're on their way home. I was going to make dinner while they were at practice. But since they now are coming home now, I'm going to... Uh, we're going to just go to dinner because... I won't be able to make dinner by the time they get home. So, anywho, uh, about the house. Uh, sadly, very disappointed. I knew that it needed a lot of work. Um, but what I didn't know is that the layout was going to be so messed up. I mean, you have to walk. Okay, so... I don't know if Emma filmed it that way, but you have to walk through your shower to get to your closet. And there's no other door in your closet to get out. So the only way in your closet is through the shower and only way out. Which, yes, we were going to redo it anyways. So you would have just changed the floor plan. But... The difference between the one house needing redone and the difference of this house needing redone is thousands of dollars. And it had popcorn ceiling, so you would need to scrape all of the popcorn ceiling off, um, get it tested for asbestos, and then they've patched so many roof leaks because they replaced the roof last year. They've patched so many roof leaks that you would have to probably, Mark said, replace half the drywall. Um, and then there were skylights in the house. Well, they decided instead of fixing the leaks in the skylight, they re-roofed over them. So they covered them from the top, but inside the house, I have something in my eye. Um, but inside the house, the skylights are still there. So you look up, and you just see your roof. <laughs> so that's like an added expense. Um, the popcorn ceiling's an added expense. The boat lift that I was saying was a bonus. It's actually super old and needs replaced. So you can't even, I don't even know why they're mentioning the boat lift because you, you can't use it. Um, it wouldn't work. So it's kind of like false advertisement, right? I mean, uh, it's there, but you can't use it. So what's the point? Um, and then you would have to just remove walls and reconfigure everything. And it would just be a lot of money. Probably 400000 And the house just is not worth that much. So the water views are amazing. Uh, having water in the front and back of your property. Amazing. But the fact that there is $400,000 worth of repairs, yeah, not so much. So we are still back to the other house on the water. It's still available. Um, we still have our showing, uh, this Friday on our house. So who knows, but that's where we're at. So that's an update on the house. Just such a bummer. Um, it literally checked every box. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what you get. It's funny because when my mom was here, we took her to the house we like, uh, and she was like, why would you want to pay that kind of money to look at brown water? And I was explaining to her that you can get on brown water because canals are always brown. Uh, 
bays and are usually blue or intercoastal. So intercoastal or bays are blue. And to get on intercoastal or blue, that's what you get. For the price point you're at, the budget you're at, that is what you get. If you want blue water behind your house, you get a dump. If you want a house that has blue water and is nice, you're paying at least three, four million dollars. And that obviously is not in our budget. So, uh, sadly, you want water, you get canal water for our budget. And so that just kind of is how it works here in Florida, sadly. But anyways, we are gonna go to dinner and settle down for the night because it's a school night. The week is almost over. So is today Wednesday? Yeah. Sweet. Today is Wednesday. Two more days, two more days. And uh, we're back to the weekend, and hopefully we can go out on the jet skis this weekend. But I don't know, we have these storm hurricane things coming, so we'll see. But anyways, that's it for me. Uh, Emma will end the video here in a second, and uh, we'll see you guys back tomorrow with another video. I hope you guys enjoy the house tours. Uh, comment down below <clears throat> what your thoughts were of the house. It's really hard to tell. I'm sure Emma didn't film like the damaged floor and stuff too, but anyways, comment down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. We're home for dinner. We went to Culver's, pretty simple, nothing fancy. I am currently editing. Well, I finished, I finished it this morning actually, like this afternoon. I am just adding music and uploading it for this Saturday. I'm actually doing pretty good, like productive wise because I usually film my videos like in the week and then I don't edit them until the day of. So yeah, I'm trying to break that habit. So that's why I'm doing her now. <laughs> um, but I do have one more, but this weekend I'm trying to go up to USF to visit Ellie because my car goes in the shop on the 29th, which is a Monday. And I know for a fact my car is gonna be there for like a month, maybe give or take like three weeks, two weeks. I don't really know how long it's gonna take, but that means I can't go anywhere. I have no place to go, so I figured I'd go out with a bang and hopefully I can go up to Tampa this weekend. I would probably, my plan is if I can go, um, to leave on Friday at five, cause she has class from five to six. So obviously it's an hour drive, so it'd actually work out really well. So I would be home most of the day Friday and then I would come home like Sunday afternoon. So yeah we'll see i'll keep you updated with that but that's my plan for the weekend because i really don't have much going on and i don't really have plans so that's why i'm also being productive <laughs> um so yeah i am actually gonna get in the shower and go to bed i'm really tired hopefully wake up early tomorrow so i can like go film a video when my sister's at school because we have a video film we have a video to film tomorrow so yeah we're gonna try and be productive but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure this video big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you all very soon back with more videos. Bye, guys.